Hi friends, it's Miss Erin from Carroll County Public Library and my two silly goats, Root Beer and Sassafras. Root Beer and Sassafras love books. They've been read to ever since they were just little kids. Kids, that's what baby goats are called. They've been read to since they were babies. They love books so much that sometimes they try to taste them. They are learning to take care of books. They love all kinds of books. They like reading about goats like themselves. They also enjoy reading about animals that are different. They like reading fiction books that tell stories. These are books that the author, the person who wrote the book, created in their mind. These are fun to read. They also like to read nonfiction books that are filled with true information and facts. They like ABC and 123 concept books. This is an ABC book about goats. And here's a book about counting goats. They love hard cardboard books. These are great books for them because sometimes they take a little bite and they haven't learned how to turn the pages of picture books without ripping them. Friends, you know how to turn the pages, but they don't, so they practice with sturdy board books. They love lift the flat books. They love books that make noises and sounds. What's in this one? What do you think it is? They love books that include songs. They love books with pop-up pages. These are books they just look at with their eyes. They don't touch these books. They love big books and they love little books. They love reading in the daytime. They love reading at night. They like reading inside. They like reading outside. They read in cold weather and in warm weather. They like reading books that make them feel emotions, even when they get teary-eyed and sad too. They like reading silly books and books that have a lot of rhyming words. Do you know this book, friends? Yes. You know this book. The title is One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish. Do you know who the author is? Who wrote the words? Yes, you're right, Dr. Seuss. Well, who is the illustrator? That's the person who creates the pictures, the illustrations. Do you know who illustrated this book? Yes, it's Dr. Seuss. Dr. Seuss did both. He wrote the words and he created the pictures. He's the author and the illustrator. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish by Dr. Seuss. One fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. Don't be gentle with the book. Black fish, blue fish, old fish, new fish. This one has a little star, and this one has a little car. Say, what a lot of fish there are. Some are red and some are blue. Some are old and some are new. Some are sad and some are glad. And some are very, very bad. Why are they sad and glad and bad? I do not know. Go ask your dad. Their favorite books are the books that their young friends make themselves. Children in their neighborhood come by and read to them. Sometimes they even make their own books. Root Beer and Sassafras want to show you some of these very clever and creative books. This is a special holiday book titled Goat Holidays by V. V is the illustrator and author of this book. V knows Root Beer and Sassafras. 
It reads, do not eat this goat. There's the title page. It tells us the title again, Goat Holidays. And there's a dedication page. It says, for Mrs. Aaron, root beer and sassafras. A lot of holidays are included in this book and how the goats celebrate them. When we get to Thanksgiving, it reads, and on Thanksgiving, well, root beer and sassafras didn't want any turkey, so they just played. After Thanksgiving comes the winter holidays. So it reads, finally, during winter holidays, root beer and sassafras gave gifts, played in the snow, and ate lots of yummy food. Don't eat the gifts. Oh, this was a wonderful book, V. V also made this book titled Things That Root Beer and Sassafras Like to Eat. This book has a special hard cover. That's helpful because look, they're already trying to eat the book. This page, there are pictures of kale and the next page has pictures of apples. Apples. Goats love apples. It's like candy to them. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, well, that's that make that page is making you hungry. You see the apples? Sugar snap peas. Note the more peas, the merrier root beer and sassafras will be. Oh yeah, root beer is getting hungry just thinking about it. Maple leaves, goats, or at least root beer and sassafras. Whoops. Like love maple leaves. That's true. You get a closer look, sassafras. You see that maple leaf? Is that making you hungry? Yeah, let's look at the next page. Willow leaves. Yes, you do like willow leaves. Carrots. Look, it's carrots. You love carrots. Yeah, carrots. It says cut carrots into small pieces because it's hard for goats to eat normal sized carrots. Yeah, you do have troubles with that. On the next page, there is something root beer and sassafras don't care for too much. What kind of things do you not like to eat? Let's look. Dried leaves. Yes, dried leaves are probably like over toasted marshmallows, but for goats. Is that true? Yes. Is that why you have all those dry leaves still on the ground and you haven't eaten them? <laughs> oh yes, that's Root Beer's yucky face. He doesn't like those dried leaves. He says, ew. As you can see, root beer and sassafras love to eat. The end. Well, this was an excellent book and so true. She knows a lot about you two, root beer and sassafras. This book by Evan, titled I'm All, opens upwards. This book is very creative. It follows a style and a pattern. I'm. The author writes I'm and then fills in a word, then illustrates it by being the illustrator and drawing some pictures. I think we're gonna make a book like this, root beer and sassafras. Happy, I'm happy. Look, there's a happy face on there. Oh, what do you think this is feeling? I'm sad, look at this sad face. I'm a fire. See the fire? I wonder what that means. Let's see, I'm the water. See the water? Ooh, I'm a marshmallow. Does that make you hungry? Yes, I know you love marshmallows. You know you I'm all, all of those things by Evan. The end. Root Beer got really excited about this book and made his own. I'll read it to you at the end of this video. Friends, I hope you snuggle with someone you love and read a book together. Maybe you can write a book together and illustrate it too. Or you could add some photographs. Sassafras made this one about his day. This book is helpful to him. Sometimes he reads it to remember his routine. You can write a book about your day. What do you do after you wake up? Sassafras wants me to read this book to you. My Day by Sassafras. I wake up in my barn bed that I share with my brother Root Beer. I go play outside in the early morning sun. 
When my human comes with breakfast, I run to the barn and eat. I love my yummy goat food. I love to eat. I go in my goat yard and try to talk to the chickens. They don't understand goat. I search the yard and the garden for yummy things to nibble on. I like to nibble on things. This book is looking tasty to me. I rest in the warm sun or the cool shade with my brother. If it rains, I stay in the barn and hang out with my brother. I don't like rain at all. I chew my cud and I make lots of burps. I am a goat. Humans stop by my goat yard to give me treats and talk to me. The short humans have a lot of energy and sometimes come inside my goat yard to play with me. This is my favorite time of day. My mom snuggle with me. I don't snuggle long, but I stay nearby for some scratches. I love scratches. When it gets dark, I go inside. I'm so excited about dinner that I constantly ask when it will be ready. Ma, ma, ma. That means, is it ready yet? My moms bring me dinner. I eat hay for a bedtime snack. I sleep with my brother root beer while the night creatures are up and scurrying around. Good night, daytime animals. Good day, nighttime animals. The end. About the author. Sassafras is a little silly goat. He is a Nigerian dwarf goat, so he will stay short. Sassafras lives at Love Winds Farmette in Carroll County. And here he has a special notes and things flap. He can tuck special things inside this flap in his book. It's okay if you make some mistakes. You can always go back and fix them later. Sassafras made a few mistakes in his book. Can you spot them? Now let's take a look at Rootbeer's book. Do you remember the I Am All book that their friend Evan wrote? Well, here is Rootbeer's I Am All book. It gave him some ideas. This is his book, I Am All by Rootbeer. I am black. I am white. I am big. I am little. I am nose. I am eyes. I am in. I am out. I am flowers. I am bees. I am hooves. I am teeth. I am loving. I am all. Friends, I hope you make some books of your own and also share some books with your grown up. Visit the library at library.car.org. How do you do? Water buffalo and cranes field is dry, empty, and hot. It's so hot they can barely think of anything else. Until the day that goat came dancing into their yard and changed the way they were looking at things, changed their view and perspective. Find out how by reading this book. This way, Charlie, inspired by a real animal friendship. In this book, we read about Jack the goat and Charlie the horse, who can only see out of one eye. How does Jack help him? Read this book and find out. Trudy, this is about a special goat. Trudy can predict the weather. She knows when it's going to snow. Trudy is quite a goat, but then one day she disappears inside her barn and doesn't come out. What's wrong with Trudy? G is for goat. This is an alphabet book. Let's count goats. Count goats of all shapes and sizes. Silly ones too in this book. 
through with the zoo. This is about a little goat who lives in a petting zoo. Good night, songs. Night and day. This is a board book with flaps. Here are some tips for parents and caregivers. If your child is young, help write the words for them when they make their books. Write word for word what they tell you. Let them dictate. You can begin with very young children by asking them about their illustrations and add the captions. Remember to talk about the parts of books with your child. This is knowledge that they'll need to have for school. Talk about the spine, the title page, the dedication page. Nonfiction books for children also include table of contents, captions, labels, an index, and page numbers. Remember to visit YouTube CCPL Kids and Families for more videos, including a video by Miss Kelly on how to make books, homemade books. Check it out and have fun, friends. And a very special thanks goes to V and Evan, who also love books.